Okay, if you noticed in volume one, we talked a lot about uh, temporal sounds and, and the brightness of a sound and how it is that we develop the sound. And I said, it's the la, ah, ah, that really bright sound where the doctor comes to you and he takes a tongue depressor and he says, Johnny, I want to see your tonsils, please say ah. That sound is the sound that grows the voice, not just for the chest voice, but also for the head voice register. So with that sound, so if we are looking to develop our head voice, we can't go, ah, ah. We gotta go, ah, 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 ah. Right? And so what we do is, now that's extreme and it's uh, beyond, you know, maybe I went a little too far. Um, but what we want to do is we want to take that bright sound and we want to grow it at both ends of the spectrum, not just at the high register, but we want to grow it and bring it down into the call register so that we can mix that sound and create a mixed voice and or add air to that sound if we want, depending on the kind of sound that we want, so that we can fuse it together uh, and pretty much sing anywhere within the range um, that our voice will allow uh, to be able to, uh, to uh, use our mixed voice in, within our head register as well. So with that said, we're going to do some exercises and we're going to start, first of all, with the air. Okay, so let's discuss air. Ah, ah, got that floaty sound. Ah, ah. I want you to start with really trying hard to get, even if it's annoying and it may not even be the sound we're looking for, but I want you to get the sensation and the feeling of that nice bright sound. Now, I just went through some different vowel sounds. Um, it's important not just to work one vowel sound, but several. So we're going to go through some exercises in a minute um, after we've discussed how we can get to the sound. Now, if you're just starting out, and by the way, these will get progressively more intense as we go. So if, if you're just tuning in and you're going, wait a minute, I kind of already know this. Hang in there. I promise it'll, it'll get more intense as we go. But we take that sound. I want you to play with that sound and go back and forth and try to see how you can get it nice and bright, almost brassy, maybe even annoying at times, but to go for that kind of sound. And then we're going to go through different vowel sounds that we, uh, so that we're not relying on one sound. And here's the reason for that. Uh, we don't want to go just go, ah, 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 because if we take only one sound and we don't develop all of the vowel sounds, a, e, a, o, u. If we don't develop all of those sounds, then when we're singing a phrase, we're going to find that that part isn't there on the chord. We haven't developed the, the muscle strength for that. So, we want to be able to have all of our vowel sounds be consistent in velocity, which is volume, and tone. So we want the tone to be consistent with our chest register, register, and we also want it to be consistent within the head voice register as well. Now, the, uh, the um, um, vowel modifications are also going to come into play, and we're going to discuss that here in a minute, but vowel modifications are still part of the equation as we've done in volumes one, two, and three. So as we go through this, we're going to discuss those uh, again. But before we get there, uh, we're going to develop the sound. So how do we develop the sound? We're going to get started on some exercises. Now, again, one more thing. If you're already sort of developed and you go, hey, I know how to do this, I want you to hang in there because I'm going to show you some ways that you can actually bring this head register sound and develop and create um, uh, uh, a truly bright temporal sound that matches your chest voice. I believe this is incredibly important because a lot of times we'll hear someone sing in a, in a chest or call register and then all of a sudden it sounds completely different when they get into their head voice and it doesn't even sound like the same person, right? So I want to show you how we can develop that too. So hang in there if you're you know, a little bit beyond the, the beginning stages, we'll get to that as well. So again, let's move forward now and let's start by um, exercise number one. What is it that we can do to develop head voice? If you're ready, let's go.